next, I would like to invite Vasek Injit. And shalom. Before starting my speech, I would like to thank all the panelists and volunteers who make this event happen. And I also would like to extend my appreciation to Vice President of York University, Jeff O'Hagan, and Honorable MPP Mario Sergio for participation in this event. <clears throat> I would like to start my speech with a quote from Bedou Zaman Sai Kursi, a prominent Muslim scholar of 19th century. He says that a building which is constructed by 20 people in 20 days can be destroyed by one man in one day. Because destruction of anything is easy, while building is hard. Just like construction, construction of real buildings or bridges, building bridges between people of different faiths and cultures may take time and a lot of efforts from people of those faiths and cultures. Trust is the first step to build strong and sustainable relationship with each other. However, in the past, some people on behalf of all community destructed the bridges, which were once built between the religious groups. With a group of students who were committed to continuing this bridge building efforts, we founded Islamic Arts of York, and in order to consolidate these efforts, we are collaborating with different student clubs, such as IDI, and IDI York chapter. Together with other York's, York University student clubs, I hope, inshallah, hopefully in English, we will overcome the barriers which could be regarded as hatred and biases. The cure to prejudices and hostility is love to love and hate to hate, says Bedou Zaman Saikursi. Another contemporary Muslim scholar, Fethullah Gülen, says that, reserve a seat in your heart for everyone. Therefore, we should love others to end the sickness of this century. I would like to conclude my speech with a story which shows that a hostility can be conquered with love. A charity organization called Kim Sayoku, in English, is there anyone, which was founded by Muslims in Turkey, went to Myanmar and Rakhine state to deliver aid supplies to Rohingya, Rohingya Muslims. However, following the saying of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, peace and blessings be upon him, which holds give gifts to each other and then you will love one another. This church organization delivered aid supplies to Muslims as well as Buddhists, who because of some misguidance had killed thousands of Muslims in Burma. Buddhists who were deployed aid supplies said that they didn't know that Muslims are like that and they stopped mistreating their Muslim neighbors. Love and do not give up. Trust me, you will not regret. Those are two, love and not giving up, are two important qualities. However, I'm talking about the law, which is a verb, which makes you act, but not stop. Thank you, and enjoy the program. Thank you so much.